When people picture Poland, they often imagine fair skin and icy blue eyes, and while that stereotype holds some truth, there's a quiet surprise hiding in Polish DNA, hazel eyes. Green-brown, golden or grey-tinged hazel eyes show up more often than most people think. But where do they come from? Before we start, I'm on a road to get 10,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. In this video, we're going to explore the genetic journey of Poland, from Ice Age hunter-gatherers and Bronze Age herders to medieval traders and borderland cultures. We'll look at how waves of migration from the steppe, the Balkans, and even the east blended together, making hazel eyes not a rarity, but a reflection of Poland's mixed and resilient heritage. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Polish roots, drop a comment. I'd love to hear your story and where your family comes from. Hazel eyes are one of the most genetically complex and visually dynamic eye colors. They often appear as a mix of green, brown, amber, or even gray tones, sometimes shifting in color depending on the light or clothing. Unlike blue or brown eyes, which tend to be more uniform, hazel eyes reflect subtle variations in melanin levels and how light scatters through the iris. Scientifically, hazel eyes result from moderate melanin levels in the front layer of the iris. There's more pigment than in green or blue eyes, but not enough to be fully brown. The golden or greenish tint comes from Rayleigh scattering, the same effect that makes the sky look blue. But hazel eyes aren't just about light, they're a polygenic trait, meaning they're influenced by multiple genes, not just one dominant or recessive allele. Genes like OCA2 and HERC2, which regulate melanin production, play a major role, but so do others that shape how pigment is distributed and perceived. Because of this complexity, hazel eyes often emerge in populations with blended genetic ancestry, where different pigmentation genes meet. That's what makes them especially interesting in Poland, a country at the crossroads of northern, southern and eastern Europe, where centuries of mixing have left behind one of the most diverse eye color ranges in the region. To trace the roots of hazel eyes in Poland, we have to go back over 10,000 years and, uh, when the last ice age was ending and the first people began repopulating the region. These were Mesolithic hunter-gatherers and, based on ancient DNA, they likely had dark skin, dark hair and surprisingly light-colored eyes, mostly shades of blue. This early presence of light eyes laid the foundation for future color variation. Around 7,000 years ago, Neolithic farmers began migrating into Central Europe from the Near East and Anatolia. These new groups brought agriculture, different cultural traditions, and importantly, new genes, particularly those associated with darker pigmentation. When they mixed with local hunter-gatherers, a more diverse population emerged, combining light and dark traits. This blending didn't just affect skin and hair, it started to produce intermediate eye colors, including early versions of what we now call hazel. The genetic variation was already increasing as early Central European societies like the Linea Bankeramic or LBK culture spread through the region. Poland's location at the heart of Europe made it a natural corridor for these ancient movements. It became one of the first regions where Neolithic and Mesolithic DNA combined, unlocking a wide palette of pigmentation traits. This prehistoric fusion of genes would become the base upon which later waves like the Indo-Europeans would build further increasing the chances for hazel eyes to appear and persist in Polish populations. Around 5,000 years ago, a powerful genetic and cultural wave swept across Europe, the Indo-European migrations. These groups, often associated with the Yamnaya culture, came from the Pontic-Caspian steppe, north of the Black and Caspian Seas. Their arrival didn't just bring new languages, it dramatically reshaped the genetic landscape of Europe, including what is now Poland. The Yamnaya and their descendants introduced a suite of genes linked to lighter pigmentation, including blue and green eyes, lighter hair and paler skin. These traits didn't overwrite the older Neolithic or Mesolithic ancestry, but mixed with it, creating a population rich in genetic diversity. And it's in this mix that hazel eyes began to flourish. Hazel eyes are not the result of a single ancient group, they're a product of layered genetic ancestry. In Poland, the fusion of stepper DNA with earlier farming and forager genes created a range of pigmentation outcomes. Hazel eyes emerged as an intermediate phenotype, not dominant like brown, not recessive like blue, but a blend that could be passed down through varied family lines. By the time of the corded wear culture, which spread across much of Central and Eastern Europe, Poland had become a genetic crossroads. The population was no longer homogenous. It was complex, blended and diverse. Hazel eyes are a visual legacy of that time. 
A reminder that Bronze Age Poland was not only a battlefield of cultures, but a melting pot of DNA that set the stage for modern Slavic populations. During the medieval era, Poland became one of Europe's great crossroads, a place where West met East and borders rarely stayed still. This constant movement of people didn't just shape culture and language, it added layers to the Polish gene pool, helping sustain and spread intermediate traits like hazel eyes. The rise of the West Slavs, ancestors of modern Poles, brought together older Indo-European descendants with scattered local groups. Then came the Piast dynasty, uniting Polish tribes and establishing a kingdom that soon attracted settlers, merchants and soldiers from all directions. Among them were Germans from the West, Balts from the Northeast, and Jewish communities fleeing persecution from Western Europe. Many of the Jewish families settling in Poland were Ashkenazi, with ancestry from both the Levant and Central Europe, further contributing genetic diversity. In the East and South, Poland interacted with Tatars, Armenians, and even Ottoman traders, especially through its borderlands with Ukraine and the Balkans. These regions saw more blending of Eastern and Southern DNA, increasing the potential for traits like hazel eyes, often seen in populations with mixed pigmentation genes. Even the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, one of Europe's most multicultural states, promoted movement and intermarriage across ethnic and linguistic lines. Nobles from Italy, Hungary and France brought their own DNA into the mix. This centuries-long intermingling, especially in towns, merchant cities and frontier regions, helped preserve hazel eyes as a visible but subtle marker of Poland's cultural and genetic inclusivity, a trait born not from uniformity but from connection. Hazel eyes might not be the first thing people associate with Poland, but they're not as rare as many assume. While blue and grey eyes dominate national statistics, especially in the North and West, hazel eyes are more frequently found in Poland's central, eastern and southeastern regions, where historical mixing was deepest. In areas like Lublin, Podkopaci and parts of Malopolska, hazel eyes appear in families with deep ancestral roots and lineages that often span ethnic borders, Ukrainian, Jewish, Armenian or Ruthenian. These regions were long-time frontiers of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, where genetic exchange was common and communities often intermarried. In cities like Krakow and Warsaw, hazel eyes are more likely due to urban diversity and modern intermarriage. As people from all over Poland and beyond move and settle, Rare pigmentation traits like hazel eyes can resurface in children, even when parents have different eye colours. Hazel eyes may be less frequent than blue or brown, but they're still part of Poland's visible spectrum. They often appear in multi-generational family trees, passed quietly through the centuries. So if you've noticed green-brown eyes in a Polish cousin, grandparent or yourself, it's not a fluke. It's a genetic echo of migration, mixture and memory. In Polish culture, eyes are often described with poetry, symbolism and emotion. From folk songs to literature, they represent truth, memory and soul. While blue eyes often dominate romantic imagery, hazel eyes carry their own quiet mystique, one that reflects Poland's layered identity. In folk tales and ballads, hazel eyes are sometimes linked to characters of mystery or mixed origins, travellers, healers or figures caught between worlds. They're often described as zielono pune, green beer coloured, or orzakoe, nut-like, evoking natural earthy tones. The term itself suggests something warm, rich, and in between, just like Poland's geographic and cultural position in Europe. In Polish cinema and literature, hazel eyes have been used to add emotional depth to characters who don't fit the mould, those shaped by the borderlands, war, or shifting identity. Directors like Kieslowski or authors like Olga Tokarczuk have explored themes of blended identity and characters with unusual eye colours often serve as metaphors for inner conflict or hybrid heritage. In the beauty world, hazel eyes are celebrated for their versatility. They pair well with dark or fair features and have a chameleon-like quality that makes them stand out, not as exotic but as rare and refined. Polish models and influencers with hazel eyes often lean into this uniqueness highlighting it as part of their national and personal story. Ultimately, hazel eyes in Poland reflect something deep, an identity formed through complexity, resilience and connection. They aren't just beautiful, they're meaningful. If you enjoyed this look into Polish DNA and hazel eyes, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Hazel eyes in Poland are more than a rare trait. 
they're a quiet reflection of thousands of years of movement, mixing, and survival. From Stone Age hunters and Indo-European herders to medieval settlers and borderland communities, hazel eyes are a living trace of history. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Polish roots, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your story. Sometimes our eyes know where we've been better than we do.